Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be going through a few of my Honda cars that I've got. I've got a number of different uh, castings to show you tonight. I've got some from the Honda Carded series. There was eight cars in that series. I've only got six of them. Uh, and I've also got some mainline cars from 2018 and before that as well. So to start off tonight, um, we've got the little Honda City Turbo. Uh, this is a pretty cool little car. Uh, these were very, very popular in New Zealand back in the 80s. We used to see a lot of them around. So it's the uh, 1985 Honda City Turbo 2. The one you're looking at there is the white version. And there is also an alternative colour, which is the black version. And that's the, uh, the card art for the black one right there. And there is the black one. So I will be breaking that one out of the packet tonight. And uh, so if, as you can see, there's the white one. And I'll just break the black one out of the packet while we're speaking to give you an idea of the different uh, colours. So that's number one. And there's the black one. Not sure which one of those I like. Uh, they're both pretty cool. Um... The graphics are really nice on these, nice little wheels, uh, no um, tail light or headlight detail on these, but uh, quite nice tempos and quite a nice styly little car. The black one I guess you can't quite see as much of the, um, the body detail as you can with the white one, so I guess uh, at the moment I would probably rate the white one slightly better than the black one. Uh, next up, third car in the set, or motorbike in this case, is the little monkey bike. Little Honda Monkey 250. This has been released in a couple of different uh, guises. As I say, that's part of the Honda series, and that was number five of eight. So there it is there, and I'm just going to break that open uh, while we're uh, looking at the little Honda City Turbo. And again... Um, a little monkey bike. Um, I've seen a couple of different variations of this. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm not normally into collecting a lot of um, Hot Wheels motorbikes. Mm, there we go. Might it, oh no, it's going to stand up okay. So there's the little monkey bike. That's a pretty cool looking little thing. Um, oh, and he's fallen over. As I thought he might. So. Uh, the trouble with these Hondas, these little motorbikes, is the uh, the tyres are just a little bit too um, a little bit too uh, rolly, so they don't stand up. We'll put it on the turntable without the the cloth. So pretty cool little bike, nice little ape hangers. It's got some nice detail there. The engine, quite a cool colour, like the green tank and the gold accents on the rims. That's pretty cool. And from that same series, number eight of eight. Uh, I've got the Honda Odyssey coming up, so I'm just going to open that one now. Uh, I've seen a lot of uh, comments on YouTube about how people really like this Honda Odyssey, and uh, I must admit, I'm not a big fan of people movers. So, um, don't get me wrong, it's a pretty nice casting, it certainly is. There's nothing wrong with that, that's quite neat. Um, very nice uh, model. Uh, quite like the uh, uh, scale of it's nice. Um, the lines on it's quite nice. But as I say, I'm not a big fan of people movers. There's not a lot of detail in the front in terms of headlight or tail light detail or anything like that. Um, I guess it just looks like a pretty boring, boring old people mover. So that is certainly. Uh, the next one in the range that's the fourth car for you guys tonight now the next the next uh, few cars in fact the next six cars are all different versions of honda civics so first up from that same honda series uh, number three of eight um i've got the honda civic si i'm just going to open that now while you're looking at the odyssey uh, circling round and uh, here we go, Honda Civic SI, 
and this is in quite a cool orange quite a nice uh, color scheme and uh, pretty neat pretty nice looking wheels neat color quite a nice color like the color again not much in the way of tail light or headlight detail but it's got some nice graphics on it uh, nice tinted windows all in all that's a pretty neat car uh, so I really like that one and uh, next up from the then and now series um, this is the um, 2016 Honda Civic Type R now I believe there is two different colors of this uh, I only have one so I'm just opening that packet right now for you guys and this is actually a very nice model um, for a mainline car and it's pretty nice and here we go so we'll just take off that one there is the later 2016 Type R that's pretty neat and that's got some nice detail on the front there nice um, red accents on the on the wheels it has in fact escaped so I better put my little felt pad back on there that just stops them from rolling around so there you go so nice detail on the rear nice detail on the front I might just zoom in a bit so you guys can just get a little bit of a close-up of the uh, Honda badge on the front the Type R so that's pretty neat nice wheels nice tail light detail pretty nice looking car so again that's uh that's a mainline car from the then and now series and then uh, the same one uh number two of ten from the then and now series is the older model honda civic which i'll uh, i'll just bust out of the packet now while you're looking at that one so um this is a, a 1990s car in fact it is a 1990 honda civic um ef which i guess is electronic fuel injection i suppose efi and this is really nice we used to see a lot of these around in new zealand um and again really for a mainline car it's actually got some really nice tempo it's got some nice detail on it uh, indicator lights there nothing on the tail lights which is a bit strange but um, that's what they've chosen to do with this car tinted out um, back windows nice red interior with uh, some tints and a sunroof but overall that's a pretty nice looking car actually and certainly um, for a mainline car uh, very well um, done the Honda set that came out the eight car set there's only a couple in that set that are really nicely appointed in terms of tempos and decals. The majority of them are pretty basic and they don't have a lot of detail in them. So there's that one. And going back to that Honda series again, um, we will have a different version of that. Same car, the 1990 uh, Honda Civic EF. Um, so that's a mainline car that you're looking at right now and this is a different color version of the same car but from the Honda set um, this is number two of eight and I actually really like this car this is very very nice indeed just have a look at that that is absolutely beautifully done great color not a lot of um, headlight detail again which is a bit disappointing considering it's uh, you know a, a set of eight i would have thought that uh, they would have perhaps done some slight uh, work on it but nonetheless that is a very very nice looking casting great color scheme the colors are sort of very 90s that's a very accurate kind of color uh, that you would have seen when these cars were around in the 90s so that's pretty cool nice wheels on it very nice wheels and again red interior and everything is pretty good on that one so that is uh, part of the Honda set and we'll go back to another mainline car now so this is a 2000 and Hon uh, 2016 Honda Civic Type R similar to that white one that we looked at 
Um, the only difference with this one is, it's rather than being just a standard white car, this is a red version with some different graphics on it. So just have a look at that. That is pretty cool. Very nice. Really nice front on it. Great headlight detail. Um, nice wheels. Nice colour. But no tail light detail on it again. So just, you know, they could have just finished that off a little bit better, I think. But it's got some nice decals on it. Um, overall, it's a pretty nice looking car. And I think, um, again, you know, um, Hot Wheels do these uh, licensed models really well. That's a nice looking car. There is another blue version of this as well that I have seen on the pegs. But as I'm not a big fan of this casting, I didn't get it as a variant. Uh, I might pick it up one day just, just to say that I've got both of them. But uh, anyway, I have a red one currently, so that's the only one I have, apart from the standard white. Uh, next up, we've got number four of eight in the Honda series. And this is a Honda Civic Si. And this is pretty cool. This is a bit of a, I suppose, a, a, a drift a drift kind of car. Now, I'm just opening up the packet. It's not the easiest packet to get into, actually. It's got uh, some pretty solid cardboard on it. This is sort of more of a more of a racing car, more of a drift car. But it's actually really nice. It's quite a cool, quite a cool colour and quite a cool car. Just have a look at that. That is pretty funky. Nice colour. Uh, no tail lights or headlight detail to speak of, really. Um, it's got some pretty neat wheels, got the big um, wing on the back and uh, nice nice clear glass in there. You can see the interior looking pretty nice and some really nice Honda decals on there as well. So that's a pretty neat car. And the last of uh, my Honda gathering tonight is probably, I believe, the... Um, Probably the standout out of all my Hondas that I've got. Uh, I really like this. A friend of mine used to have one of these. Uh, so Aaron Jones, if you're out there, you know who you are, buddy. And you used to have one of these things, man. And it was pretty rapid. And it is the Honda CRX. And this is absolutely outstanding. That is very, very cool indeed. And... Uh, that would be my favourite out of all the Hondas I've shown you tonight. That is the one that I can identify with. Very cool colours. Nice black, red spoiler, red side skirts, awesome gold wheels on it. Uh, really nice detail on it. And uh, that's a pretty funky looking little CRX. So um, these things were pretty tiny, uh, but man, they used to go. They used to really fly. Uh, there are plenty of guys used to plus T them, put turbos on them, and all the rest of it, but um, that's pretty neat. So, hey guys, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed some Hondas tonight. I've got some Mazdas to do as well, and I've even got some uh, Toyotas and Hyundais and Subarus to do. So, at some point, I will be doing more Japanese classics. So, thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, that would be cool. Um, hit the notifications bell too so you'll get a shout out when I post another video and have a great evening wherever you are it's quite late here in New Zealand but uh, I just wanted to get this done for you guys tonight so enjoy the video uh, and we'll catch you on the next one cheers thanks guys